heck is all this crap right here? I thought the groundhog saw his shadow. Mm, 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 mm. That snow coming down. Crazy. Oh my car is covered with snow. Man. Stupid. Just stupid crazy. I'm about to move all the way to the Cali with Rob D. I'm chilling and grilling. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna be doing something special today. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna tell you in a minute. Guys, we're doing lemon. Wait, what am I doing, babe? Oh shucks. Lemon, garlic. Oh man, the snow got to me. The weather is so cold. Um, I'm doing something with chicken. Stay tuned. <laughs> Guys, we're doing lemon garlic pepper chicken with butter sauce. I think. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. <laughs> guys, it's gonna be a little cold today to be cooking outside, we're grilling outside. I mean, you saw the intro uh, video. I mean, I'm not doing that outside, so, you know, it's gonna be crazy cooking outside at this type of temperature. So, we're gonna be cooking indoors and we're gonna be doing some lemon, garlic, and butter chicken it's gonna be so good i'm gonna show you how to do it guys if you like grilling and barbecue this is your channel right here so make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and stay tuned for all the beautiful videos that i'm gonna be putting out and make sure you ring that bell that way you get notified as soon as i put up a brand new video make sure you share this with all your family and friends guys other than that let's get started right now All right, guys, so we're basically what we're going to do is come off some of that excess fat that you see right there. And we're going to trim up some of this stuff right here that's not going to be good eats whatsoever. So take a look at that. And we're basically going to split this chicken breast into half. That way it's going to cook evenly. And it's going to cook perfect. And we're going to cook it to a consistency where it's going to be moist, tender, and juicy, guys. All right guys, so we do nothing hard right here. We're just gonna pretty much split it down the middle just like so, and just gonna give us two pieces of chicken on the breast instead of one. So we're just gonna cut right through the middle, just like so. Just be careful not to cut yourself. All right, and there go your two pieces of breast for this uh, lemon garlic pepper chicken. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. All right guys, so we're gonna mix our dry seasonings right now into this nice little metal bowl. And then we're gonna add our lemon and then we're gonna add our butter later on. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is just basic, some of my all-purpose barbecue rub, some tarragon, some lemon pepper. Well, the little bit I have left and one of my favorite seasonings, Mrs. Dash. Can't go wrong with this guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna mix all this up and I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right guys, so we're gonna add our lemon juice at this point. And a good rule of thumb is to always roll your lemons a little bit up and down, just like so. This helps release the juices inside the lemon. So we're gonna cut it and add it to that bowl right there. Oh man, it's gonna be so good, guys. I made a boo-boo, guys, don't be like me. Use your hands to catch the seeds, but I'm gonna dip uh, my hands in it and grab the seeds out and I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna load these chickens up with some uh, the seasoning right here and, and let it marinate for a little bit 
but don't be like me guys take the seeds out that's not gonna be goodies all right guys so it's time to marinate our chicken what i did i added three more um lemons into this uh, mix right here so this is how it got to this consistency and this is what we're looking for right here so all i added was the barbecue seasoning the lemon pepper the tarragon and the mrs dash along with actually four whole lemons and this is going to be enough to coat all my chicken so we're going to uh, marinate this chicken for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, and if you want to do it overnight you can just cover it up and leave it in the refrigerator for 24 hours and uh, it's going to be some flavorful chicken after that This is the way it should look. We're gonna let this marinate about 10 to 15 minutes, possibly maybe half an hour, but I don't think my family can wait, so we gotta start cooking ASAP. All right, guys, so we're gonna assemble the chicken real quick, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, but first we gotta do a light coating of breading, and all I'm doing is adding some flour to it, and it's all-purpose flour. You can add any kind of flour you like, almond flour if you like, for those who are on a keto diet, but I'm just gonna add the simple, you know, all-purpose flour right here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning and I'm using my rest of my lemon pepper seasoning just to add it to the flour mix. So I'm gonna show you how to do that guys. I'm gonna lightly bread it and then we're gonna take it to the frying pan. guys so it's time to add our oil to our frying pan and this is a little industrial frying pan and I'm gonna use a little bit of Gracie oil because it's this been heating up for about 10 minutes or so and uh, this is hot, has a higher burning uh, temperature so I'm gonna add this to start off our butter sauce paste so I'm adding about three to four tablespoons right there as you can see it's getting nice and hot this also is gonna help stop the butter from burning and we're gonna add about two sticks of butter. All right, just like so. And we're gonna swirl this around. All right guys, so basically we wanna swirl this around a little bit. Now it's time to add our chicken. And the lemon that we squeezed earlier, I'm going to add this in here too, just for a little bit of added flavor. All right, so we're going to cook this on uh, medium to high heat and let this baby cook up all the way through, guys, till we get our internal temperature of 165. All right, guys, take a look at that. It's starting to brown up nicely around the edges, as you can see right here. And this is about a three minute per side cook. Let's flip it over. Oh yeah. Take a look at that guys. Oh man. Man. All right guys, so it's been three to four minutes per side at this particular point. As you can see, it started to run up nice and golden brown. That is exactly the color we are after. So we're gonna pull up it just to make sure we are at 165. So we're gonna do the biggest one right now. 135, 136, 140. All right, we're not there yet, guys. So we're gonna let this cook. Oh, 142, 144. So we're gonna let this cook for another two to three minutes. And then we're gonna uh, flip it over and check on the other side as well. All right, guys, let's check the temperature now, see where we at. All right, 172, 174, yeah, they are done. 160, yeah, 167, oops, sorry guys, this one is done too, oh, wait, let me show you the light, 174, alright, so, we are done on these guys, alright guys, it's time to do the taste test, this is the best part of all, Woo. as you can see, chicken, wow, Mm. Wow. You can taste the lemon. 
You can definitely taste the garlic and the butter sauce. Juicy, moist, and tender. Wow. So simple to make. You guys can do this at home. I mean, I did cook from inside the day, so. Mm, 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 mm. This is good. I gotta get another bite. Wow. Look at that. Juicy, tender, white meat. Wow. Guys, make sure you share this recipe with all your family and friends. Tell them about us. Smoking Jazz Barbecue. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and ring that bell. Until we meet again, guys. Peace.